So we're at PAX and this is day two and I'm joined here by Don. He is from AMD. He's qualified to speak on some things involving Zen and also some upcoming products from AMD. So what do you got to say to the audience? Well, I'm, I know everyone's super excited about Zen and of course Zen is attached to the uh, upcoming AM4 platform. And that AM4 platform will see the light of day in OEM systems uh, starting on September 5th. Uh, you'll start to be able to buy these. These are, of course, our next-gen platform supporting DDR4, 2400, um, of course, USB 2.1, uh, you know, uh, Gen 2, NVMe, all the newest I/O. Uh, so this is our first launching of that AM4 platform on desktop. Now it won't be available in the channel uh, for some time. We haven't announced that availability, but uh, in OEM systems, it'll be the first chance for people to see what what our next-gen platform. Can do. So the OEM release is coming first. You guys heard it from AMD themselves. That's coming in the OEM system. So we won't see Summit Ridge until a little bit later. That's the overclockable CPUs on the platform. And then the custom motherboards obviously coming out around the same time. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, we haven't announced a date for those things, but they'll be coming out together in the channel. Uh, you know, when we have uh, Summit Ridge available, obviously we'll have platforms for it and stuff. So you can build your own from the parts. but. For now, it's all uh, bundled OEM systems. In theory, those sockets, those AM4 socketed systems, would accept a Summit Ridge um, processor. But of course, we'd have to, I mean, the, the caveat is the OEMs would have to support that with a bias flash, and uh, we can't guarantee that. But. And also, the recent benchmark we saw from AMD with the, the Summit Ridge CPU being up against the 6900K from Intel, we saw 8 cores versus 8 cores, 16 threads versus 16 threads. Now, I did speak to Don yesterday, and that was in relation to the uh, Blender benchmark, and the AMD actually came out in front by a little bit, yeah? We did, Zen's looking just amazing. Uh, it's a very exciting time for us. We're really excited to bring that product to market uh, where we can actually really offer something relevant to the really high-end enthusiast space again. I know a lot of people have been asking us for that, and uh, we, we uh, it took us a little while, but uh, the process technology has caught up with us, and. And it's really exciting how well this part's come out. Internally, we've been very, very excited for a long time, but just a little bit more of a wait. Yeah, so it's just a little bit more of a wait for Zen. I know a lot of you guys are pumped out there. I myself am pumped. I'm wanting to get one of these motherboards, wanting to get a CPU, overclock it, see how it works. Also, any word on Vega as well? I know a lot of the enthusiasts are waiting on the top-end AMD graphics card there. Uh, I don't think we can say anything more about Vega yet, except uh, it's looking good also. Um, the only other thing we have to talk about this weekend at PAX is uh, the availability of the new FX8300 CPU. Uh, that's a CPU we previously offered in Asia. Now it's available in the rest of the world. Uh, full 8 cores, uh, great little part, 95 watts, so not, not uh, the top of our uh, power draw, and uh, with a nice high 4.2 gigahertz boost clock. So a great little part. We've actually got um, it running VR in the background here. So some other questions you guys wanted to know was about the, obviously, those stock prices coming through the roof recently with AMD, which would signal a comeback. And one thing that I've noticed from behind the scenes is AMD also acquiring a lot of talent. Now, I was speaking with Don before, and he was uh, working with Tom's hardware for approximately 10 years, was it, with the GPU side of things. And I know Scott Watson's on board. They've got a lot of new talent coming in. I think this is AMD making a really big push. It is a really big push. Uh, we are trying to fit people in the right positions. Uh, Scott Watson's amazing. He's the first guy to really take a hard look at uh, you know frame time variance. Uh, so that kind of input is really, I think, what we need in the in the in the GPU industry. I think I think he's helping push us in directions we really need to be going in. Um, so I mean, you know, anytime you can get somebody of that caliber, it's great. And of course, as as we go on and gain more market share back with Zen and and AM4. Uh, I, I think we'll see that trend continue for sure. In our and now before we get out of here, I will just introduce you guys to Jerry as well. He's actually going to talk about the RX4 series and how they come out with a bang. I mean, we've seen the RX480 just selling out everywhere over the charts. We've got the RX470 introduced and the 460, and they're actually taking it head-to-head -head with NVIDIA with their GDX 1060, especially the 480, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, like, our, our RX480, our 470, and 460 have actually done really well uh, in the market. Like we. I go on Newegg.com every day and I'm seeing them like out of stock like every single day. So I mean, that's a testament to how well they're, they're selling. I mean, like we targeted this to uh, the majority of gamers, 84% of gamers are looking for 
you know, just mainstream under $200 cards, and I, th I feel like we've really hit the mark on that one. Well, I definitely the statistics agree with AMD actually pulling ahead with some enthusiast market share there, so that's a great thing to see them crawling back in the market, especially where they need it, I think, with the big, strong word of mouth comes from those gamers and those people who actually know a lot about tech. Would you agree? They've been doing uh, quite well. Like, uh, I'm actually not too sure about the sales numbers for that, but, like, honestly, like, if more people are buying them, they're, they're seeing, like, how great our enthusiast products are, and, I mean... If that trickles down to more and more market share, it's all good for us. Yeah. Well, that's what we want to see. AMD, more market share, more good news for you guys because that means better products, more competition. Love it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you, Don. <laughs> AMD has been acquiring a lot of talent. Uh. We are in the worst part of the arena, I think. We've got a rock band here. We've got an announcer behind us. So thank you for doing the interview. My pleasure, man. That for doing all the gravis... Uh. And those people who actually know a lot about tech. Would you agree? Oh, sorry.